doing something we should have did a long time ago. Finally getting a chance to do it. Let's go in here. All right, you guys see it. We're about to change the spark plugs and get right to it. Right now, since we are getting closer to that 100,000 mile mark, I figure I'll go ahead and change it out now uh, rather than later because I got something else coming to the truck to the channel later. They told me when I first got the truck tuned, I should change it out, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So let's get right to it. So I have everything you really need here. You have a 3 8 drive, 5 8 spark plug socket ratchet here, flathead screwdriver, 8 mil socket to take off this screw right here. But I'm using a 516 and I have my spark plugs. I already changed it on one side. I'm just going to change the side over here on the other side. Um, I'm going to try and show y'all, but I, don't, I can't really hold a camera up right now and do this. But I'm going to try and do my best and see what I can do. But yeah, first thing what I do is this little thing right here. Use the... Um, flat head to push up on it these things will break so be careful with it push up on it a little bit push it up in there and then you push up on this there we go Some of this piping in the way, so I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see. Then I go ahead and use this. I should have showed on the other side. I've been a lot easier. Then once you get that out, pull up right here. This right here, you twist and pull up. All right, finally got it out. I don't know why that one's taking so long, but. And also what you want to try and do when you get it down in there with the socket, try and keep it centered when you lift when you're getting it out, breaking it loose. This is the old spark wrench. Not spark. This is the old spark plug. As you can see, this one is pretty bad. It's not. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put in a new one. We got to gap the new one first. I'm gonna go ahead and gap it. When you do these, make sure you check the gap on them. Some of them come uh, pre gap but just check it to make sure. I got this little thing here. I'm kind of gap it and check the gap. You can get one of these at your local hardware, um, auto auto replace like auto like Advance. Right now, I got the gap at like 45 about 45 46 range, and these are the NGK spark plugs. I'll leave a link to them down in the description. Right. 
as I said earlier, try and keep it centered. Now you see, I see a lot of people use anti seeds in these videos, but doing some research on them, we don't necessarily need it now because the coating on these already have some anti seeds on there, so it's supposed to help with it. So I decided not to get none. But to each your own, if you want to do it, if you want to use it, then use it. I mean, I decided not to. Now, you see a lot of people, they go ahead and use these. They torque it down to spec. But once you get it to the point where you know it's it really not going to move anymore, then you should be good. Isn't that pretty good? That's it. Now, I just put the boot back on. Put this boot right here back on. Clamp it back down. Good. Go. Line it up with the hole. I'm gonna stick this. Screw it. Tighten everything down. Do this by hand. Thread it down by hand. Clamp this back in there, and then it's on to the next. Should have got a video of it idling and the start before. But I got plenty of videos on the channel where it starts. Push it down in there, and push this part back down, and clamp it back in there. There it is. Now tighten this up. All right, that's it, and um, the same thing with the others. So you guys, when I get done, and just like that, we are all finished. Now I do have to jump my truck off because I left a light on and the door open for a long time, and my battery died. So I might jump this thing off real quick. As you guys can see, these are the old spark plugs that was in the truck. They wasn't, yeah, that was pretty bad. It wasn't like terrible, but that was bad. You can tell that was bad. Um, these are the old Ford stock spark plugs. So, so yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.